back, it's Sue Wilson here again, and we are going to be showing you a bordered aperture card today using our new Gemini dies. So to introduce the dies to you, we have the beautiful new Delphinus in the Gemini die line. We're also going to be using from the Greek island collection, the Kefalonia, and the Rhodes die. And then I, for my sentiment, I am using one of the words from the Amazing Sentiments, the clear stamp set from Creative Expressions. So let me just show you, I've done a little bit ahead of time. Let me run you through what I've done here. I've cut the Delphinus on the edge there using one of the cutting edges because your Gemini dies come with separate cutting edges and then the insert. Then I matched the uh, matting pink layer behind this with just the cutting edge, okay? So next thing I'm going to do is use the same die on the other side. And I'm gonna line it up, put a little bit of tape on it, hold it in place and put the cutting edge around it. Get that lined up nice and straight there. Okay, put a bit of tape there, a bit of tape there, and I think I'll just tape it on the back one more time and make sure I'm not off the edge. Pop this down on the side of my cutting plate and I'll just run that through the center of the grand caliber so it sticks out the other side. So that'll give me the border on both sides of my white piece. Okay, that looks like it's cut nicely. Let's take this apart. We're gonna use this cutting edge in a second. And right at the top here where they, where they meet together, I'm just gonna nip this little piece away this out. So I've got two beautiful borders on either side of my card now. So what I'm going to do is glue this to the pink piece that I've already done. A little bit of cosmic shimmer glue all the way around and get those edges because I want to make sure it's nice and tight up against that pink. A little bit inside all that detail. Let's do this side now. Move that out of my way. Get all those little swirls. If you have a spray mount, you can use that too if you have to for quickness. There we go, that should work. So we're gonna line this up and then we'll cut the other side. Okay, get that nice and even there. Okay, so now I can take this and seat this back around that die. Get it tucked in there nice and tight. Wiggle it into place and make sure you've got it on there. Put a little bit of the tape in place. And we'll run that back through and cut the edge to match that. That should do the trick. And take this off gently. Always remove your removable tape really slowly so you don't rip your card. And then that little piece right there is where we're gonna nip into it again. So now what you have is a perfectly matched up side, okay? And we're going to cut the aperture in the center here using the outside die on the roads. And that'll cut through both pieces of that white and pink card so it'll be nice and clean. So that looks about right. Just eyeball that center a bit. Pop that right in the middle. And we'll run that through the center of the grand caliber. And depending on how thick your card is, you might have to roll it back and forth because you have two pieces, but I think we should be okay with this. Yeah, that's fine. 
take our die carefully off. There we go. So now I've got the aperture and the two border pieces there. So next thing I'm going to do, and I've got one I've already done ahead of time, and I've added some little pearls into the flowers and some mounting foam on the back. But to have just a little bit of a decorative edge there, I'm going to add some bling. So I'll bring my copy paper out here. And we're going to be using the crystal glitter jewels from uh, Cosmic Shimmer and the ice snow. And let me just peel up. I've put a little bit of mount, or, um, sticky adhesive sheet on the edges here. Let me get a hold of it. Do this side first. Oops. There we go. Sprinkle that into place. Tap it off and you can burnish that down so it takes all the extra bit off. And then let's get this side done. Guess, oh, start from this side. It's always the hardest part, getting the backing paper up. There we go. I'm just going to see if I can use some of this already Use Burnish it off. There we go. Tidy this back up into our container. This larger size is lovely too. It's a bigger target to hit. Go. Set that aside. And I'm going to put this piece over that so it'll stick out underneath the edges of my borders. A little bit of mounting foam to raise it. And I'm just not sure if I'm going to hit that with the edge of that mounting foam, so I'm going to put a little glue on there just to be sure. There we go. Center that over that. Try and get it nice and lined up. Excuse me while I lean in just to make sure I've got it straight. That's not bad. And I went ahead and did a matting and layering with some of the pink card and the white and then some Cosmic Shimmer white PVA glue. I've let that dry into little dots to frame that. So we'll go ahead and put this together and then we'll work to our aperture. There we go. Center that into the middle of our frame there. Nice. Okay, so the next thing I've got, I went ahead and cut one of the beautiful Rhodes dies out of the pink. So I'm going to recess that down into the aperture just using a little bit of glue. And you've got a lot of detail here, but there's some larger places where you can go ahead and put your glue in and secure it. Just try and get enough to keep the edges down. And if you're at home doing this, obviously you'd be a little bit more careful and put your glue on slower. I'm trying to be a little bit quick about it there for you. Get all your little um, curly Q pieces too. And then we're just going to put that right into that aperture and sink it down into that. There we go. So it's nice and recessed into there. That's really pretty. So you can see how that's starting to come along now. Next thing I'm going to do is uh, cut my sentiment, which I've already gone ahead and stamped. And I am using, there it is, hiding underneath, the center of the Keflonia die here. So I'm going to go ahead and layer that around. Just get it centered over my sentiment. And I'm going to just pop that right like that for the moment. And use this next one to cut the outside. And try and get that nice and centered, but keep my tape off the edge because I'm going to do a little bit of inking when it's cut. That should do the trick. Bring my plates back over. Pop that in. Get a quick run through here. Let's just bring it back. That looks like it's nice and cut, and I do want to bring out the detail in this, so I'm going to go ahead and emboss it. So let's just pop that back into place, put that over, and the pink plate, run that through. I always recommend embossing the dies because it does bring out the beauty, and especially when you're using a die that's in two pieces because you're real pretty embossed between them. Okay, there we go. Move 
these out of the way. Okay. Now I want to put this die back into place so I can do some inking. Tuck it, reseat it back into that die, turn it over, and I think what I'll do is just tape it to the tan mat there. Okay, a little bit of inking. I'm going to catch this edge and then I'll take my tape away and do the center. This is a Victorian Velvet, one of the Ranger Distress colors. And I tell you what, I think I need to move that. It's being stubborn today. Oh, and it's split on me. We all have those kind of days, don't we? There we go. Okay, so seat that back over. Tell you what, a little trick I use when I have a stubborn die like this. Magnetic sheet, pop it into place. That will hold it down better for you. There we go. Okay, now do a little bit more inking, catching that edge. And I'm going to do a little bit inside of the frame as well, just to nicely frame the whole thing. Got a little bit too much ink right there. So we can work that out a tiny bit. There we go. Well, I can live with that. Take it apart. And take all your little bits out. There we go. So you've got a really pretty edge from where that second frame comes in. Okay, so I did a matte layer with one of the other dies in this set, just plain white. And we're going to put a little bit of mounting foam on the back of this one here. Raise it up. Put that right into the center of that one. And I've got one little piece that's still stuck in there. There we go. Let's get that out. Okay. Bring our card back over here. And we're going to put this across this direction right across the middle of that, just to finish that off nicely. Isn't that pretty? You've got a bordered uh, Gemini die on either side with the aperture in the center with your sentiment. Really, really nice. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and you'll come back to join us again soon.